Howdy, howdy, guys. Welcome back to part three of uh, the lawnmower washing machine motor build. So it's electric washing uh, lawnmower. So here's the bottom and the revealing of the top now because uh, that's what the title is going to be. Uh, building the top for the electric lawnmower. What do you think, guys? <laughs> the last couple of days while it's been raining, I've been sanding it back and trying to get it ready for its paint job. And, and I got, I'll show you. So if we lift up the hinges, that's all the inside and uh, welded the brackets down here to the mower. Got some good hinges and I just started on the battery box guys up here. And you know where the controllers, all the batteries are going to be down here. There's going to be four of these 9 amp hour 12 volt batteries. One, two, three, four. And then I've got enough room to fit another two. As well as room to fit a couple of lights if I feel like doing a bit of uh, nighttime mowing. So all of this arrangement is pretty cool guys. The blades in, motor's ready to go on, but uh, because I'm just really getting these all up to date with what I've been doing, I've just finished no more now, laying all of this in. It's actually bolted in through the side, left and right. And uh, so yep, it comes down like this, and uh, it's very cool. See, see the amount of room that's in there? So it does clear the motor once the motor is in there. and uh, But it's not in there at the moment, guys, because in part four is when we fire it up and it's all going to be painted. And uh, I'm not going to tell you what color I'm going to paint it, but uh, all right, it's black. It's high gloss black. But I'm going to take out all the, all the stickers of it just sand it all back again, cover all the lights, and uh, do an undercoat, and then uh, do a nice um, high gloss, high gloss black over the whole thing. So yeah, goes an 800 watt controller is going into that. It's one of the new ones, and I'm um, still trying to work out. It's um, it's 48 volts up to uh, 72, uh, two mode. I'm still trying to work out where to put this at the moment. And uh, I'm going to change out the throttle. I'm not going to have that. I'm going to have a volume control. So, um, then, yeah, the, the longest part of it all, guys, is just lengthening all my wires, positioning this under the hood here somewhere, so it's, so it's uh, you know, not in the way of anything. And um, just so that... I got my off and on switch and a volume knob and I'll probably have it just over here on a little small dashboard so it's easy to get to or even up here somewhere would be really cool too so it is coming along guys yeah all of this it's not the original case I've actually chopped a lot of this out I chopped all through here all through here this whole side panel all the front's been chopped out until it looked like that guys yeah, here's all the side pieces and stuff here, and, uh, you know, that I chopped out, and there's heaps of bits and pieces like that, but I managed to get it to where it, uh, it can open and close really well, and, um, and just function and rest where it's fairly level, you know? Is it heavy? Yeah, it is a little bit heavy, actually, it's going to be probably heavier than the original. Um, you can notice here... I wanted to push this far back so that I can get right up to the line for mowing purposes. It is a little bit wide, but that's okay. Get those other bits with the weed eater. So, I actually want to build, out of one of these washing machine motors, a windmill so that I can charge this lawnmower from my windmill. So this will be its motor, and I'm going to use a stock standard original one might rewire it a little bit to suit what power this is going to be it's going to be 48 volts to start with and then i got enough room underneath here to actually fit another two so this way uh, so four this way and two this way and um yeah i might even get put uh light switches in here just in case i wanted to do some nighttime mowing not that i ever will but it'd be cool Oh, and just little bits and pieces that were broken that I've got to fix up. So I've got to fix up all that front part there. 
But hey, this is an update, guys, on uh, this lawnmower. And uh, it is a bit of a surprise. I bet you all weren't thinking uh, that it would be this lid that I'll be using and modifying for this mower. It looks okay. It looks like a, a right on mower just shrunken up, you know. <laughs> oh, awesome stuff, guys. So, yeah, I'm on to pretty much on to painting now and just trying to finish off little bits and pieces where to put volume control you know the throttle and stuff and um, you know all that juicy stuff guys so the thing can still go up and down as well all that adjustment still there that's that's cool and, uh, so yeah guys this is just pretty much a quick update on this and um, I'll be back in I think it's part four we fire it up in part four but that's like uh, it's probably about three days away four days away from now so um yeah i can't wait this is going to be cool then i got another big project on with the uh building this big windmill there's a lot of wind around here lately we've had i had a big setback the last two days with a lot of rain here so yeah wow we got flooded out a little bit <laughs> but anyways guys stay tuned for this fire up won't be long won't be too far away Big shout out to uh, Gabrielle Quiverdo. You want to check her out on YouTube? She's a finger style guitar player. Really super good. Unbelievable. She's got a lot of cool, um, oh, a big list of songs here. Old school songs, new school songs. Check it out. Awesome, guys. Yeah, I'm sorry I can't contact a lot of you. My phone is, it's, I'm just running off Wi Fi at the moment, so it's not actually hooked in as a phone. I can't, sorry if I can't get in contact with a lot of you guys. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for this build. Awesome, guys. I'll see you in part four. Cool, cool. Cruise man out, guys. Thanks for watching. It's going to be good. Woohoo!